The second week of the 2011 legislative session saw a flurry of activity as the blitzkrieg against Florida's working families continued. On Monday, March 14th, the Senate Community Affairs Committee took up Senate Bill 830, the worker gag bill that will make it illegal for public sector employers to make the employees voluntary union dues deduction from their paycheck. This is simply an effort to uh, vilify the labor in our, in our state and the working class, and I just uh, would hope that you guys would look at that very carefully. The legislation also makes it almost impossible for public sector unions to use their resources for politics or legislative advocacy. The legislation passed by a very narrow 5-4 to four vote as Republican Senators Paula Dockery and Jim Norman supported the rights of firefighters, police officers, teachers and others and voted against the bill. As business lobbyists stood in support of this move to silence Florida's workers without giving a reason, Senator Dockery finally asked if someone from the business community would offer an explanation as to why they were getting involved in an issue that had very little, if anything, to do with them. Adam Babington from the Florida Chamber of Commerce chose to answer. He offered that union members had actually called the Florida Chamber of Commerce and said they supported the gag bill. Yes, he really said that. The bill's extremely close vote took the Republican leadership by surprise, leading them to doubt the bill's prospect in its next two committees. 48 hours later, using their complete lock on power and ability to change the rules, the bill was shuffled to new committees where they thought they had a better shot. Yes, really. On Wednesday, March 16th, the Florida House took up Senate Bill 736, the widely called son of Senate Bill 6, which was vetoed after mass outrage by parents, teachers, and students, compelled then-Governor Charlie Crist to veto the measure. Over the course of nearly six hours of structured debate under a special rule, House Democrats repeatedly pointed out that this was a merit pay bill with no merit pay. This bill doesn't cherish what they taught me. There's nothing in this bill that guarantees them any merit pay for instilling those values in me. Add that value to the bill. Till this bill influences me the way they influenced me, I would urge you and urge everyone in this chamber not to support measures like this. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. That's right, there is no money to pay for this legislation, and in fact, estimates show that local school boards will have to find hundreds of millions of dollars to implement the bill. This legislation mandates that our teachers pay. Retention and advancement is based solely on their students' performance on standardized tests, tests that have yet to be developed. On Thursday, the 17th, the House Government Operations Subcommittee took up HB 1405, their attempt to radically change our pension systems. The bill imposes a new 5% tax on teachers, firefighters, police officers, and others, raises the retirement age, and makes other changes that cause public employees money to pay for tax cuts for big business and the wealthy elites. Almost two dozen workers and advocates testified against the bill, offering concrete data as to the problems inherent in the legislation. I want to get back to what the original intent on DROP was. The original intent on DROP was to protect the people in the Florida retirement system that don't make enough money to live on their own after they get out of retirement. And I urge you, on behalf of all the people that take care of our children, that take care of our families, that save us in times of, of trouble, keep our water clean, take out our garbage, on behalf of all these people, please do not make this choice because it is a choice. It's not required. And there's a lot of other ways that you can solve the state's budget problems. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> supporters on the committee often seem confused and unable to answer even the most basic questions about the changes. One lobbyist for the Florida Chamber of Commerce testified in favor of the bill, prompting Representative Irv Schlossberg to comment that out of the hundreds of people who have offered information on the bill, only this one Chamber of Commerce lobbyist spoke in favor. Representative Jeff, Jeff Clemens blasted the lobbyist, pointing out that most of what he said was verifiably false and that the chamber should not be pursuing tax increases on workers to protect their own tax cuts. The measure passed the committee with a party line vote. A tough week for Florida's workers, but the Florida AFL-CIO is still here, standing strong for the middle class. Check back next week for another video update. Solidarity. <laughs>